side for a ball there as uh, San Pedro will now work the count full, 3-2, one out. For uh, Williams, they have Giovi at third base, who's a good fielder. Lynch at second, who uh, also has had a solid season so far, the senior. Um, and they've brought their infield not quite into the grass, but at maybe a little closer to the double play depth. And that's going to be lined out to right center field. It's going to split the gap. Going to be cut off by Brown. He'll throw it into second. But getting to second base is Sam Pedro, a double off the bat of the sophomore. And uh, with that looming line drive. That one went over Lepitron's head. And all the way into third base with the triple. The throw home is way late. And it is a two to nothing advantage off of the RBI triple by McDermott to center field. What a booming triple. Fagnant has come home. San Pedro has come home. And McDermott awaits with uh, Pidon, now, or McIntyre now digging in. McIntyre, another young man who had a good weekend against Tuff. This one is to left center. It's going to go deep. It's going to go off the fence. It's going to drive in another run. McIntyre is going to turn. He's headed to third. The throw is high. And McIntyre, a back-to-back -back triple for the Mammoths as they have now taken. Williams, they need to stay in this game. It's been a, already a buster three, a third inning for this uh, Amherst squad. And we talked in terms before the game, the kill that both of these squads are quite capable of putting up lopsided innings. So uh, Amherst making a bid to put up a lopsided number. I think three qualifies, but it could be more if they can get some. That one's going to be driven, it looks like, to left field. O.C. will come on. He'll make the catch. Runner tags. Coming to the plate. Throw in is not going to be in time. For Amherst, there'll be another run scoring. A sacrifice fly off the bat of Luke Pidon coming in from King. San Pedro, obviously, everything you want in a batter with the bases loaded in an inning. One out. The 3-2 offering. And that is down low, ball four, and a walk and a run, and it's now five to nothing Amherst. Great discipline there by San Pedro, just letting those 2-2 two -two slider and 3-2 slider go by, not hacking away. And for Sean Hogan, the control has been difficult. We saw the hit back the two outs here, and that's going to be low and inside for ball four on McDermott. The second baseman will work a walk and earn his second RBI of the day. And for Amherst, it'll be another runner taking home with no running effort. And the... Uh, this is loaded, so he can be picky right here, Nick Hill. He can pick and choose. Maybe he's looking for something right down the middle as far as a fastball. Here's the wind and the pitch. That one is up high. It's ball four, and the seventh Amherst run. Their third in the last full frame. It's... Uh, John Sandifer, the senior, um, but for Teddy Massingham, oh, and looks like, do we have a balk here maybe, Mike? Looks like we maybe have a balk from Teddy Massingham. That's going to be a very, very costly mistake as a run. And for Fignant, we've already seen him stole, steal a base today, uh, standing on first. Um, the lead fairly narrow now as uh, Cone holds him on for Williams. The wind to pitch. And that one is going to be looped down the third base line. It's a fair ball. It's going to roll all the way to the 330 sign. Pignon around third, headed to home. Here's the throw. It's not in time. Going to third. Boy, the swipe tag, it must have got him. Yeah, Boyle out at third there. A little opportunistic running from the center field.